schedule. I might take Cape Wrestling. Cape Wrestling, or you could call me Kyle. Raw after Mania. I say it was pretty decent, and um, I don't say it's the best to find out why. But um, anyways, the beginning of the show, Seth Rollins kicked it off, and he was talking about his match. And Kofi K Kingston came out with the New Day, and they set up a match, main event. Title versus title, the winner takes all, Universal Champ and WWE Champ. So, Seth Rollins versus Kofi Kingston for both belts. And, uh, after that, uh, we had, uh, the Revival versus Major Bros, Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins again, uh, for the Raw Tag Team Championships. Kurt Hawkins pulls it off, so Kurt and Zack retain their Raw Tag Team Championships, I'm glad about that. And, um, we saw Sami Zayn came back, he had an Intercontinental Championship match with Finn Balor, Finn Balor won though, then Sami turned tail again, and, uh, Becky Lynch talked and then Lacey Evans finally did some something and finally and punched Becky Lynch and they fought. Uh, Dean Ambrose for the well, last match on Raw, final match. Uh, versus Bobby Lashley didn't get underway because Bobby Lashley looked at Renee Young and said, I'll take care of your wife when you're gone. And then Bobby Lashley ended, ended up putting uh, Dean through the announce table on Monday Night Raw. And, uh, yeah. But, uh, then Undertaker came out. Undertaker was there. Uh, he interrupted Elias. Elias did a little rap. He said, one part he said, I had three fingers and John, the middle one's for you. Yeah, yeah. And then he said, the next person to interrupt me will become a dead man. And then, boom, Undertaker came out. It was great. Then the main event happened. Kofi versus Seth Rollins. Winner gets the Universal and WWE Championship. Kofi, WWE Champion. Seth Rollins, Universal Champion. I didn't think anything was going to happen because Brent Split's still intact and we have the Superstar Shake Up this Monday and Tuesday coming up after after this week, next week. But, uh, um, so yeah. The bar interfered and kind of messed up the match and uh, both men didn't lose because DQ, I don't know. You can't win the belt by DQ, but they interfered. The match got ruined, so... Kofi is still our WWE champion, and Seth Rollins is still our Universal champion. So, that ended up being the Kofi, Kofi and Seth versus the Bar. Kofi and Seth won after Kofi hit a Trouble in Paradise on Cesaro. Yeah, Cesaro, and then Seth made the tag into the curb stomp. One, two, three, they won, and that ended Raw after Mania. Oh, we started Lars Sullivan also. Debut, he beat up Kurt Angle after Kurt Angle did an angle slam to Baron Corbin. So, Lars Sullivan is finally on Raw. And uh, he could be on SmackDown for the Superstar Shake-Up next week. So, there's that. But I thought the main event could have been better. And we could have had more, maybe, call-ups. I thought Und Undisputed Era was going to interfere in the match, but they didn't. But, uh, <coughs> uh, oh well. At least we still have Tuesday night SmackDown, uh, SmackDown Live after Mania. Hopefully something happens. I have more call-ups, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, I'm really there saving it for the Superstar Shake-Up. I don't know. But, with that said, that's the Raw After Mania review and, uh, what happened. So, uh, one more video coming out after this. So, with that said, please like, share, and subscribe, guys. Too sweet if you already are. You guys are amazing. Remember, guys, it's YouTube. Stay drama for...